Hey guys, what's up? So today I want to show you one of the applications of linear approximations to a particular problem in math about Euler's number, okay? So now you know that Euler's number, you can write it in terms of this limit over here. And there is something pretty cool, and is that if you want to compute that, this limit and show that this is indeed equal to e, well, something you can do is you can use a linear uh, approximation for the natural log function, okay? Now, this is something pretty interesting, and it's also pretty simple. So, yeah, let me, let me show you uh, how you can use a linear approximation to solve this limit. So, now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to let this limit be equal to any variable that you want. I'm going to call it y, okay? I'm just going to use y so that I, if I want to refer to this limit, well, I can refer to y, okay? And I don't have to write the entire thing. And now, what I want to do is I want to take the natural log on both sides of this equation. And that is going to be ln y is going to be equal to the natural log of this entire limit. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity for uh, 1 plus 1 over x to the x power, okay? And the natural log of this limit. Now there is something very important, and it's a property about logarithms and, and limits, that goes, uh, if you take the natural log of any limit, I'm going to write the limit as x approaches c for any function f of x, well this is going to be the same as the limit as x approaches c for the natural log of f of x, okay? So you can see that this equation allows us to, if you're taking the natural log of a limit, you can write the ln inside the limit. So if you want to find how much this is, well, you can just take the limit of the natural log of f, okay? And we're going to use that fact to rewrite uh, this expression with the ln inside the limit, okay? So we know this is going to be the same as if we set the limit as x approaches infinity for the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x to the x power, okay? This is how much we get. And now there is another property of uh, logarithms that goes that if you have ln x of a, well, this is going to be the same as a times ln x. We can move the exponent to the front and multiply by ln. You can see here that we have x, x would be the same as a, so we can move x to the front of ln. And this would give us, uh, this is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity for x times uh, the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x, okay? So now, up until this point, I have not done anything in particular. I have just rewritten the original limit in terms of, well, we set it equal to y, and then we rewrote the natural log of y, okay? We remember we took ln y is equal to the natural log of the original limit. So now, up until this point, I have not really done anything. I have just simply rewritten the entire thing. But there is something that I want to do now, and, it, and that is, I want to use a linear approximation for the natural log of 1 plus something, okay? In this case, that something, or that variable that we're about to define, is going to be 1 over x. So now, before I continue, I want to change the notation, and what I'm going to say is the following. I'm going to let delta x be equal to 1 over x, okay? I'm going to use delta x because actually you shouldn't use delta x so that you don't see this in terms of, well, as a change of x. I'm actually just going to use this as, I'm going to say h, yeah. So let h be equal to 1 over x. And so you can rewrite the this limit, this expression over here, as the limit. Now what happens as x approaches infinity in this function h? Well, as x approaches infinity, remember h is going to approach 0, okay? You can see that, well... 1 over x, as x goes to infinity, that's 0. So you have the limit as h approaches 0 for x. Now we know x is going to be equal to, I should write that, so x is 1 over h. So x is going to be 1 over h times the natural log of 1 plus delta, uh, 1, over, uh, 1 over x, I'm sorry. So 1 plus uh, h, because we know that h is equal to 1 over x. So we get this expression over here. So right now I didn't do anything weird, I just simply changed the notation so that we can have something in a more compact way. It is better to see 1 over x just as a constant, as a single variable and not as a fraction. So now we have this over here. And there is something that I want to do now and is uh, compute the linear approximation for ln. So now we know that uh, ln of 1 plus h, we can approximate this function first by finding the function, uh, I should write the entire thing. So uh, assuming that, yeah, let me let me write the entire formula. So we know this is going to be uh, f of 0 plus uh, f prime of 0 times x, okay? This is going to be the linear approximation formula for ln 
of 1 plus h, assuming this expression equals uh, f of x, so I should write that also, f of x, and actually it should be f of h. Let me do this again, and this also should be h. Let me, re or let me change all this notation. So this is going to be h, and this is going to be f of h, okay? And this is equal to uh, ln. So now, uh, this, uh, I, I, I think I didn't mention, uh, this, this formula only works out for near x equal, for uh, values near x equal zero. So this is just going to be the linear approximation formula for values near x equal zero or, or near h equal zero. Remember that the, the factor that you also have uh, next to f prime is going to be x minus x naught. And in this case, we're saying that x naught equals zero, okay? So you can just write x or h in this case, okay? We're using h notation. So now we have this, and so we can say from here that, well, ln of 1 plus h is going to be approximately the same as now f of 0 is going to be ln, uh, ln of 1 plus h of 0. So that is going to be ln of 1. And we know L of ln of 1, well, that is going to be 0. So we don't write anything. And now what is the derivative of 1 over h? So I'm going to write this over here so you know that we did that computation. The derivative with respect to h of the natural log of 1 plus h, well, this is pretty simple. Uh, we can just use the chain rule, so we know this is going to be 1 over uh, 1 plus h times the derivative of uh, 1 plus h, and we know that it's going to be 1, okay? So this is the derivative for ln of 1 plus h. Now, that's great because if we evaluate this derivative at 0, which is what f prime of 0 is telling us, well, we can just simply say that uh, this evaluated, so h at 0, well, this is just going to be 1, okay? And that is nice because if we have 1 as a coefficient for h, well, then we know that this linear approximation is equal to h, okay? And there is something that we wanted to do now, and I'm going to erase this so I can continue down here. We wanted to rewrite this natural log function as a linear approximation. And remember, we can actually use this approximation in this limit because we're saying that h is approaching 0. And this, uh, this, quadra this linear approximation formula is, of course, only for values near x naught equals 0, okay? Or near x equals 0, whatever notation you want to use there. So now we can, we can now use this expression, this approximation to rewrite this limit. So we're, I'm going to continue over here and say that now we have that ln y. Remember, we, this entire thing is what ln y equals to. So ln y is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 for 1 over h. And since we're saying that h approaches 0, well, we can use this linear approximation for values near h equals 0. And actually, I keep using x notation. I'm so used to using h, but this should be uh, using x, but this should be h, okay? I used x notation. This is h, okay? So yeah, anyways, uh, we can use this uh, linear approximation here because h is approaching 0. And we care, we need, actually, we need to have um, this, uh, this linear approximation near 0, okay? So... Now I'm going to write, instead of ln 1 plus h, which is what we have here, well, I can just write h, okay? And now I believe you can see what happens. You just get that this limit is equal to 1, okay? Doesn't matter what happens to h, you just get 1. And the great thing about that is that, well, we get that the natural log of y is equal to 1. If you're going to find how much y is, well, you can use base e. So you have that e to the ln y is equal to e to the first power. And remember, uh, there is a property of logarithms that allows us to cancel out e and ln. And so you just get that e is equal to y, okay? Uh, well, that is the result that we were expecting, okay? We, we already knew that this limit equals uh, is equal to e. But well, now I just showed you the computation using this linear approximation here, okay? Which is pretty cool, and it works out because, well, we're saying the limit as h approaches 0, and this approximation is also for h close to 0, okay? So yeah, that has been everything now. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you learned something. Uh, this is a very useful way to use approximations into many different math problems, including compute limit computations. So yeah, that has been everything now. I hope that you enjoyed this video, it has been helpful, and see you in the following one. Bye.